Hi everyone, this is Mike at Brash Monkey, and this quick tip tutorial is going to show you how to create a cloned copy of your Sprayer project that uses texture atlases for the images. So you start off with your Sprayer project that is made of individual images. So here are subfolders with individual images for creating all of your um, animations. Um, but if you want to create a clone of this project that uses uh, texture atlases for all the images, you would go under File, and then Generate Sprite Sheets for Project Images. And you're going to click OK. It's telling you to uh, basically choose a destination folder. I've already pre-created a folder on my desktop for this example called Grey Guy Atlas. And you can choose a file name, and we'll just do the example and choose save. And now I'm going to minimize this a bit so you can see everything on screen. Um, you have lots of different options for how it's going to create the texture atlas. There are different um, sort of algorithms it can use to uh, try to compact it as uh, tightly as possible or uh, if you're working with a really large project maybe you're going to need or want to do something that uh, is faster to process but um, I've left it unoptimal even with very large projects and speed was not a problem at all so most likely you'll want to keep it on optimal um, and then by default it's set to never generate multiple sprite sheets for this small sprayer project we don't need multiple but as you can see there are lots of great options such as generate multiple sprite sheets when images don't fit maximum um, it won't have much of an effect for this project but um, or you can have it uh, generate sprite sheets for each main subfolder so as you can see um, in this project it, we have subfolders so this can help keep your texture uh, atlases very organized. Um, and then you can choose to keep the dimensions of each texture image square. And while you're adjusting your settings, uh, keep an eye on the OK button. If it is not clickable, that means there's something about your settings that do not allow the images to fit properly in the texture atlas. In this case, there are a few reasons this can happen. If you have it set to never generate multiple sprite sheets, and the one sprite sheet that you do have uh, is too small to fit everything, obviously that'll be a problem. Uh, if you're telling it to generate a sprite sheet uh, for each main folder, same thing. If a folder has too many images so that they can't possibly fit in one texture atlas, it's still not going to be able to work. So you're going to have to make sure to find for example, let's try 512. Okay, now you'll see the OK button will work. And I can go ahead and create that uh, project with the texture atlases if I so choose. So now if I open up this project that I've just created, you'll see I have these uh, texture atlases that are surrounded with a blue rectangle. I can double click on any of these and it'll open up like a folder and give you access to all of the images from that texture atlas uh, and the entire project is recreated using nothing but images from texture atlases and that's it for this uh, tutorial thanks a lot for watching